Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd do a, a Debian review for you and um, originally I was going to do the MX14 review because I really like the look of that particular distribution and I had uh, it doesn't have a UEFI install so I've had a little bit of problems in the past but I decided to do a hardware install full disk and just do the legacy install so I went ahead and did that and it installed easily had no problems at all with the install the um, boot up was fine uh, no problems at all there but when I went to install GUVC view it installed but it wouldn't run properly so then I tried to install uh, Kazam. K Kazam would not run. Uh, I finally got Simple Screen Recorder to run. And I, I tried Cheese uh, to, for the video capture. But uh, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't run either. So I went and installed all of the various codecs. And I basically tried everything to get the um, GUVC view and Kazam going and uh, I thought I had everything working and when I it, it looked like GUVC view was working while I was recording the video but when I went to review the finished product uh, the screen up in the top right that you see was just frozen it hadn't captured the uh, the video so what I did was I uh, and so I, I went through it and it is a nice distribution but it does have a few bugs it's based on Debian 7.8 I think that's wheezy um, so I went ahead and downloaded the new Debian Jesse 8.2 and I installed it <clears throat> that's what you see here I installed the XFCE package um, I had no problems at all uh, with GUVC view or with Kazam and so everything is running smooth right out of the box so I'm gonna go through this distribution with you and we'll go through a few configuration steps just um, just so you can understand what you might have to go through when you install Debian now I guess if you're going to install Debian you may as well go right to the uh, root source and that is Debian itself. Now my favorite Debian distribution I have two. One is Voyager and the other is uh, Sparky Linux. Those are my two favorite Debian installs because they add a little bit. They, they do some things on their own that just augment and uh, supplement the basic a Debian install but Debian 8.2 Jesse which is what you're looking at here you really can't go wrong with that if you really want to have a Debian distribution on your on your machine so let's go through a couple things now number one the network was recognized and configured right out of the box so you can see I'm on Ethernet but I also have all of my Wi-Fi networks available so that was super easy I didn't have to do anything it works fine you get four desktops uh, there's a clipboard manager here which is clip it I believe uh, windows uh, the the panel is along the top and they give you another panel at the bottom so you can add some some uh, extra applications to uh, to make them a little bit more easily accessible without having to go through the menu now if you like the side panel you can run this along the side um, but I like it on top with the dock at the bottom or the second panel at the bottom just the way it is now this is what you see when you install it's got the Debian wallpaper and it's got the uh, I, I installed the XFCE version so I actually installed the LXDE version also I went with because you can select the desktop environment that you want and you can install multiples 
as part of the install process. So I went ahead and installed XFCE and LXDE. Uh, but if we go up to the menu, you'll see that uh, Terminal Emulator, File Manager, Mail Reader, Web Browser is Ice Weasel. Uh, you've got all your different settings, uh, pretty much all XFCE oriented, Session and Startup. Um, now what I'm going to do um, is I have a brother printer and I'm going to show you how to configure that within Debian. Uh, just so you might get some benefit from it. Um, I'm going to use my brother printer as an example, but um, whatever brand of printer you have, if, the, if they make Linux drivers, the install process would be just about the same. So we'll go through that in a few minutes. Now you've got the various uh, leaf pad, mouse pad, uh, screenshot so you've got all the various programs available education is LibreOffice math graphics uh, there is a, a, a GIMP is installed and there's a, a basic image viewer but the rest of it you need to install on your own if you want for example uh, Shotwell or GThumb you'd have to install that on your own. For internet, as I mentioned, you have Deluge and Ice Weasel. Multimedia, there's a mixer. I installed G e GUVC View and Kazam. VLC was already available, GNOME Player, so you've got a, a quite a variety there. In Office, LibreOffice is installed. Uh, system, I you have disk management. I don't see gparted. Thunar is the file manager. You do have synaptic package manager. XFCE terminal. So let's go through the brother printer install just as a because that doesn't does not come installed out of the box. So if we use the our browser and we we do a search on brother Linux driver installer. Go down to Brother Solution Center. Downloads. Select your item. Mine happens to be an uh, MFC Inkjet Fax. I have the MFC J8 series, and my model is the MFC J870 DW. So if I click on that, it gives me a selection for drivers. I'm going to select Linux and Debian. I'll do a search on that and I come up with the driver install tool. Now you have to agree to the EULA and I'm gonna save the file. So it's being saved to my downloads folder. So if I minimize the browser and I go to my downloads folder there is the the driver uh, folder it's it's a uh, an archived file I'm gonna open and I'm going to extract and it should extract it which it did into my downloads folder now you see this file Linux BR printer installer 2.0.0-1 that's a bash file it's an executable what all I need to do I'm gonna open up a terminal I'm gonna change to the downloads folder I'm gonna uh, go into root mode and I'm going to execute that file and the command is bash then the name of the file br printer installer dash 2.0.0-1 
Then we have to put the name of the model that we have. So it's MFC-J870DW. Okay, now that should execute the file. So it tells me it's going to install the following packages. And you can watch in this folder, they'll populate. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to agree. And you can see the files being extracted and populating my downloads folder. Now, I recommend creating a file or a folder within the downloads, calling it printer, and then moving everything into there. Okay, so we're just going to say yes to pretty much everything. Hmm. So it's asking me to put a drive. I wonder why that is. It's asking for some files off of the CD, off of the USB drive, actually. Okay, guys, the reason that the um, install is asking for the CD-ROM is because I have CD-ROM uh, still checked off in my repositories. So it's trying to pull files from the CD-ROM. We don't want to do that, so we're going to take that out. And we're going to click OK. Going to reload. And I just want to go back and double check that. And okay, so the CD is now no longer listed as a source. So we're going to try that install one more time. Get back into downloads. Sign in as root. And then we'll run our bash install and this should go all the way through now it's asking me if I'm going to specify the device and I am I have uh, my printer is configured as a wireless printer on my network so I'm going to specify the IP address and I happen to know that that's the IP address now I'm going to print the test page and we will see if we hear that printer start up and I'm not sure if you can hear it but it is printing <clears throat> so that's all there is to it as far as configuring the printer. Um, just make sure that before you start, you want to go into your sources through Synaptic and uncheck the CD-ROM as a source. <clears throat> and as you can see, there is the test page, the Debian test page. So that worked out fine. Now, let's go on to a couple of other things. One is, if you wanted to change the look, uh, let's see, go into settings and appearance, and you've got a variety of themes here. And so let's see what we have. Stellar is nice. Um, I usually like one that doesn't have the balloon around the uh, the labels, uh, but there's not one readily available out of the box. 
and uh, it's got tango icons. I think I'll go with the add waiter and we'll close that out. Uh, as far as a desktop wallpaper, we can change that. <clears throat> That's the default and we can select a different one. Let's see what we have. And these are the standard uh, XFCE desktop wallpapers. So that's fine. Okay, so let's see what, what else we need to do. <clears throat> we configured our printer. I've got GUVC view working. Network is fine. Uh, everything is installed fine out of the box. And I think that's all we need to cover. So if you are considering, and you can see on print settings, there's my printer. All I have to do is right click and set as default system wide and that should do it <clears throat> so now you can see the the printer is set up as a, as default for the entire system configured properly printed a test page so that's about it, guys. I think uh, for a Debian distribution, you can't go wrong with uh, the new 8.2 Jesse. Everything configures well out of the box. I don't see any uh, any glaring weaknesses. Uh, had no issues at all. Uh, UEFI install. Grub configured properly. No problems at all. So then you all you need to do is add the programs that you want to use. I didn't really add anything um, other than what I needed to make the video. So that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. Take care.